Alright guys, today uh, my Black & Decker grinder went and gave out, so we're going to have a little word of silence as we bury this Black & Decker grinder. All right, guys, I was just playing. I really didn't bury it. I still have it up here. <laughs> I just cut the cord and just buried the cord a little bit. All right, guys, so today I'm going to do a little unboxing. As you know, my other grinder just uh, gave out on me. So I got the Porta Cable 6 amp, 4.5 inch small angle grinder. And uh, got it at Tractor Supply for I think it was like $25, $26. Let's see what's inside. Okay, got a little bit of tape there. Got the manual. Got the handle. And looks like we got the grinder itself wrapped up plastic. And uh Comes with one grinding wheel. Yeah, and that's it, just one grinding wheel. But there you have it. That's what it is right here. Alright guys, so today's project is this portable air tank. Um, I had it around for a couple years, I never even used it. So what I'm going to make it into is going to be a portable wood stove burner. Something small, something the winter's coming up. So I figure why not. It's a little 7 gallon portable air tank. I'm going to just cut the front off, put a door, cut the gauge off of there and put a smokestack coming up and uh, what I probably end up in doing is on the inside I'm going to put a little deflector smokestack is going to be at just to kind of keep uh, a little bit of more help help it out a little bit alright guys so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this valve off I already made sure it's out of air it's empty I'm going to go ahead and just take it off See that? I'll save this for you never know another project or something. Now that I got that off, that's going to be the back side. And this up here, I'm going to go ahead and cut that all the way around. And that's going to be the front door.
Alright guys, so I'm going to try to grind the part where I just cut off at. So all I'm going to do is get a plate big enough to cover that up. Hopefully I got something around here laying down. Everything I use for this project is going to be just scrap pieces that I got here and there or leftover metal. The first thing I'm going to do is weld the deflector plate inside of there and cut out that top about a four inch hole on top. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to record this. It's kind of a tight fit to have the camera in there but uh, I'll just weld it and then I'll show you when I'm done. Alright guys, you can see all I did was just tack welder in uh, six different spots and uh, just a little deflector just so the fire doesn't go straight directly up into the smokestack, you know it has to go kind of around and uh, I'll put a little grate in the bottom and then I'm going to start welding the door and we'll check it out. Alright guys, so I didn't have enough to cover up the door so I'm going to get two pieces of metal weld them together and then uh, weld the seam so it can be one solid plate. Alright guys, so I already welded all the plate all the way around and then uh, it, I didn't have enough to do the whole thing so what I did is just put two plates together 
And I welded a bead all the way across and grinded it off. And I uh, already marked my door. It's gonna be six by seven by si six by seven. And I'm about to cut that out. Grind it down. Uh, I got a little cheap little hinge. I'm just gonna use this. Like I said, everything I'm using is gonna be all just scrap pieces that I got. Cheap little hinge. All right, guys. So all I did was just put this little temporary uh, door stopper right there, and I just tack these these hinges on the door, but not on the plate yet. So I'm gonna do just tack it right here, and if I like the way it opens, I'm gonna go ahead and just weld it right there, all of it. So check it out. Everything just tack welded right now. There you have it. Nice little door. Open the close. Stops perfect. So I like the way that is. I'm gonna go ahead and just weld it out right there where it's at. There it is. I might even use that uh, little door stopper right there. Might clean it up first and weld it right there where it's at. I like the way that looks. But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and weld it right there. I like the way that looks anyway. There it is, check it out. Little door stopper. Just like that. I'll show you, turn it on in a minute. I'll do it like that for now, but later on I'll go and put a little uh, flange all the way around. Check it out. I'm gonna put a little uh, expanded metal in there and I'm gonna go ahead and load it up and turn it on, see how it comes out. I just cut out the little grate. I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can fit it in there. It's not too long. Here it is. Put some little pieces of wood.
check that out. It turns on as soon as you open the door. And it dies down just enough to where it can still stay on when you close it. I haven't put a flange all the way around so it's gonna it's getting there that way. So I went from portable air tank to portable uh, wood stove burner or a portable wood stove. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it open, let it burn all the paint off. Once it burns all the paint off, I'll go ahead and close it. All right, guys, there it is. All the paint's burned off already. Just enough to keep it barely on, and then if you open it, it lights up pretty good. Check it out. I think that little fire will burn for quite a while if I close it up. Just enough where it's barely even on. You can see as I close the door it starts to kind of die down a little bit just barely even just enough to barely keep it on. Well guys that's a wrap. That's all it is. It's already dark out here.